Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I'm Shep, and I tend to ramble. About what? Anything? And everything. And what are we going to ramble about today? Well, we're going to ramble about how there are some whiny YouTube uh, YouTubers that are burning out and having mental issues. Oh, I can just see what <laughs> I can just imagine what the comments are going to look like on this video. There's going to be some angry people. There's going to be some people that are going to agree. But hey, not trying to make anyone mad. But if you get mad, well, that's because you chose to get mad. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this article that's why I'm doing the whole webcam thing I won't always do this because not everything I'm going to be talking about is an article uh, that I happen to come across on the on the internet um, now this this type of show is just uh, rambling about I don't know if I if I come across something and I think about it I'll make a video about it you know it could be about anything so um, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, turn this on so that way we can. Uh, that was not quite what I wanted to do. I'm sure you want to see my ugly mug. So, well, hey, yeah, we'll just <laughs> we <laughs> just take myself well. <laughs> it's like, hi, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Ah, I'm coming back this way. Yeah, yeah, over here. Yeah, uh huh. Okay, so <laughs> we'll just shrink this up over here, and we'll put myself over here, so that way I can look at the article over here and point at the article and say, "Look at this article. Look how silly this article is." As a matter of fact. Let's take a look at this guy. Does he look happy? Hmm. I'm not really sure. Maybe he does. Maybe he's enjoying himself. Is this a YouTuber? He's got a nice looking chair. He's got a nice looking background too. Oh, I see some Minecraft stuff. I see some Minecraft stuff over here. Of course, it's all, you know, all, all very... Look at my background. Look at this stuff. I don't have anything fancy. I have a dartboard. It's a cheap dartboard, like from a dollar store. I wasn't kidding. I'm just a just a basic. I'm just a basic down to earth guy. I don't have, you know, this nice, wonderful setup. I mean, you know, I got a bunch of junk sitting on a desk over here. I mean, you know, I'm not doing anything all fancy and. Uh, Heck, the, the intro to my video is just something simple I threw together, you know. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do something. And then when I got I this is a question. So, so here I am, I'm rambling. We haven't even gotten to the article yet. I'm I'm rambling, see. So, you know, if you're here to watch me ramble, then you are in the right spot. Who does these intros for these YouTubers anyway? Okay, they're, they're all these little fancy I'm assuming they don't all do their own intros right i'm sure some of them make their own intros but i i know there are some people that do like gaming videos that they couldn't i just can't imagine that they that they did it they must have someone out there doing a, a fancy intro or something for them so oh, i'm just curious let me know anyway so let's take a look at this. YouTube's top creators are burning out, breaking down. This is all I've ever wanted. Why am I so unhappy? Well, maybe you're looking for happiness in the wrong place. Just a thought. 
Three weeks ago, Bobby Burns, a YouTuber with just under 1 million subscribers, I have under 1 million. I, at the moment, I have like under 10 or 15. <laughs> no stress here. <laughs> he sat down. I, I, this is all like, uh, like, I don't know, dramatic here or something. He sat down on a rock in Central Park to talk about a recent mental health episode. One week ago, Ellie Mills, a creator with more than 1.2 million subscribers, uploaded a video that included vulnerable footage during a breakdown. Six days ago, Ruben El Rubius Gunderson, the third most popular YouTube in the world. Uh, I've never heard him. Never heard of Ellie Mills or Bobby Burns either. I guess I don't get out very much. <laughs> oh, well. Um, he has 30 million subscribers. He turned on his camera to talk to his viewers about the fear of an impending breakdown and his decision to take a break from YouTube. You know what this sounds like to me? This sounds like they're trying to get attention. Like... Uh, like how actors uh, try to create stunts to to get news media to get more attention and stuff like that. That's I, I I'm I'm not trying to be judgmental or anything like that. Maybe they are. Maybe they are having. Maybe they are breaking down or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, they're saying they're not alone. Eric M three R K. I guess that's Merck, Merck Music, Phillips, 4 million subscribers, Benjamin Vestergaard, 2.7, and other YouTubers have announced brief hiatuses from the platform or discussed their own struggles. Everyone from PewDiePie, okay, now I've heard of him, um, to Jake Paul have dealt with burnout. Lately, however, it seems like more of YouTube's top creators are coming forward with their mental health problems. Now, here's a question for you. There are... <sighs> Back in my day, uh, when we used to go to school barefoot, you know, in the sto snow, walking both ways uphill... <laughs> I don't go back that far. Um, we didn't sit there and put our whole personal life on our sleeve for the whole world to see. Because, well, we didn't really have the internet. Um, and now that the internet is out there, it's and there's social media and stuff, it's like everyone wants to put their personal... Okay, maybe not everyone, but the younger generation wants to put... It's like they want to be noticed. They want, they want everyone to care about them. They, they, they want to feel important. I get it. All right, I understand. I get it. I mean, I was that age, and I wanted everyone to like me. Um, uh, folks, those of you who are younger, you're going to get older. All right, you're going to get older like me, and 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 get uh, not so attractive, <laughs> start losing your hair and it'll turn gray and stuff, you'll get to the point where you just won't care. <laughs> it's like, oh, people like me, people don't like me. Oh, well, you know. But this is what I see. I see these young folks who are, they're, they're trying to appease everyone. They're trying to make friends with everyone. And it's like they're trying to get everyone's attention and then they're they're trying to be friends with everyone that's that's out there um and if they have a personal problem they kind of put it out there to try to get people's sympathy and stuff like that it's like you know there are some things that really should be kept to yourself um if you're having some mental issues, it's 
best to maybe not broadcast it. Keep it to yourself. Um, that's for you. That's your privacy. Maybe your family should know about it. But the world really doesn't need to know about it. Um, there are people out there that feel like they need to tell the whole world about their sexuality. Really, guys, uh, girls, the general public really does not care. If you like guys, if you like girls, if you like pots and pans or Apache helicopters, <laughs> I, know, I saw that on some post. <laughs> Someone identified it as a, a attack helicopter, whatever that means. Um, you know, whatever. Most people out there don't really care. And re you really don't need to come out and tell people. I mean... You like what you like, great. You know, it, I I don't need to, to 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 come out and tell the whole world the things that, um, my personal things. You know, I don't need to say, um, like how, what happened to me at my work, or, oh man, this is such a horrible day today, and uh, let me tell you why, blah blah blah. You know, really honestly, people don't care. Um, there are some people that like thrive on other people's misery, but why would you want to feed that? I don't know. But going back to this article, uh, people are coming forward with their mental health problems. They shouldn't be. Um, but it says here, constant changes to the platform's algorithm, unhealthy obsessions, and... <sighs> Yeah, from what I've seen on some of these videos, people really are, um, oh, hey, you got to like this language. Let me just, I try to make this a family show without the language. Um, so once in a while, there's going to be something that's going to show up. Apologize. But um, no, I just totally lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. But um Anyway, burnout at 19, this per, what, she's 19 years old and she's burned out. Are you kidding me? All right, let's, let's look at this video. Hi, I'm Mo Mills. Okay, this is this, this girl. Hi, I'm Mo Mills. your dream job? Um, a veterinarian. To be a model. Probably like a zoologist or something. A police? An actress. A YouTuber. When I was a kid, all I ever wanted to be was a YouTuber. All I ever did was make videos. Hey, who's this? Oh, it's me. Funny enough, I was actually voted most likely to be a YouTuber in high school. And after I graduated, I made a promise to myself that I was gonna do it. So I worked my fucking ass off. I posted, posted, and posted. And if there's one thing I love about me, is that I'm one driven son of a bitch. But answer this. What would you do if you achieved your lifelong dream faster than you expected? Moving on to other news, Filipina Canadian That's YouTube star Elle Mills won breakout YouTuber for the 10th annual Shorty Award. You've definitely had moments over the past year that have brought you to 1.2 million in the span of... Okay. Just, we're not going to watch the whole thing. If you want to watch it, you can click on it. But anyway, uh, she's just saying, my life just changed so fast. My anxiety and depression keeps getting worse and worse. I'm literally just waiting for me to hit my breaking point. Maybe that's the problem. You know, maybe you're, maybe you shouldn't be thinking about, so, uh, 
uh, L, L A, I, I guess it's L. Um, I don't know if, if you will actually see this video. Um, I hope you're doing better, but my advice is step away. You know, um, you have to kind of like step away from stuff and, and take a break. Um, and I know there are some that really can't do that. And then there's there's uh, some explanation um, in here as far as why uh, some people are so obsessed with videos and have to like upload a video every single day. Um, but if you're not happy, maybe you, you need to reevaluate a few things. Um, maybe just get away from the computer for a little bit. Um, I don't know if you're seeing anyone or dating anyone. Um, maybe just make a change. I, I really don't know. I mean, to be burned out at 19, I mean, you get your whole life ahead of you. Burned out. <sighs> I hate to say this, but I don't think you know what burned out really is. Wait till you get to close to 50, and I think... I think you'll have some things that'll happen between your age now and the time that you're 50, and you'll look back and say... 19, that was nothing. <laughs> Believe me, back when I was a teenager, things seemed really intense. Uh, you'll get older, uh, like me. Uh, and by the time you get to about 50, I probably won't be around. Maybe I will be. Maybe I'll still be making videos. Who knows? I'll be this old man, decrepit and stuff. Um, yeah, but it, you're going to look back. And you're going to think, man, I was silly back then. I, it was like, I was burned out, man. I didn't know what burnout was. Yeah. You, you, you guys are stressing way, way too much over stuff. Um, but let's continue looking at this. Okay, so she's dropping some F-bombs in here saying this is my dream and I'm so unhappy. This doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. It's stupid. It, it, well, you're looking, it, it's not making any sense because you're overanalyzing everything. That's why. Um, and you just need to take a step back. Um, so she announced on Twitter that she was going to take a break from YouTube and social media because uh, she couldn't keep up with the pressure and she told her fans that while she was safe and in good hands she needed time to recuperate and remember why she loved making videos in the first place okay so okay so she she's taking a step back that's good i mean that's good um i don't think she really needs to make a video about the whole uh about the whole breakdown and stuff like that i mean let's go back to this again so six months do you guys know who l Mil much so fast so, saying that all so happens to hang around we're just kind of fast forwarding now if someone is burned out why are they putting together a, a six minute uh, close to a seven minute video with this type of production with this type of work this is not something that you can just quickly throw together you've got to get you've got to go through and and, and find all your footage um, and edit it all together and for timing and all this. This isn't something that you can just quickly throw together. Um, the video that I'm doing, okay, this this is a quick video that you can throw together because I'm not putting <laughs> I'm not putting any huge production value into it. But this video has got some production quality to it. I mean, this is not so I mean, it's a seven minute video, but I'm pretty sure it took a lot longer than seven minutes to put together. So if she is stressed out, why is she taking that amount of time just to make this type of video? Why not just make a quick video to say, hey, guys, I need to, you know, I need to take a step back and take a little bit of a break. People are like, oh, OK, cool. I don't think she really needed to make this really detailed video. It's kind of like people on Facebook that 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 get all bent, all bent out of shape and uh, I'm going to leave Facebook for a while. Why do you have to announce it? If you need to just take a break from Facebook, just take a break. Just walk away from it. I do. There are some times where on Facebook I don't say anything for a week or two. Um, I don't, I don't, 
feel the need to tell people that I'm way too addicted. I need to. There's just really no need. Um, all right. So there's this guy called Sam Sheffer who burst into the spotlight after appearing in multiple Casey Nist. I have no idea who these people are. Um, he took a break from Twitter for similar reasons in his own video. He addressed Millis questions about why she was so unhappy when everything she ever wanted was finally coming together. He doesn't look happy. What a little bit of Russian kid. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hey. Hey man, you want some Russian candy? Russian? It's actually really nice, but it is burning. Are you live streaming? No, at the, not at this very second, no. Uh, What's up, man? I, I talked about the conversation that we had. Do some catching up here in the office. Uh, these are kind of piling up. So I'm gonna open up. Look. I'm gonna open a couple of these while I um, while I answer a couple of questions off of uh, off of Twitter. There's been a lot bubbling up. Hey, before I get started, speaking of Twitter, so I saw this video. Oh my word! Oh my word! I gotta say, good on the guy who saved the little kid. Excellent climbing skills, way to act fast, way to be brave to save a child. The question I was left with is what the fuck was the parent thinking? Like, what do you, what, in what circumstances is, but the primary place for the podcast is still the right, Tesla. Kind of yes, I did buy a Tesla bummer. I do see him, just not to Casey, AKA the candy aficionado. You know Felix, thank I think he rambles just like I do. Anyway, <laughs> here's another example of a video where, yeah, it's 11 and a half minutes long, but I can tell that this is something that took much longer to put together because of um, all the different little like camera angles and, and uh, footage. And um, I went to uh, one of the things I took in, in, in college was video production and editing and stuff. And it really opens your eyes as far as editing video, as far as how much work actually goes into making a, a five or a ten minute video. And and I'll be honest with you, there there was a public access uh, show. Does public access still exist? I have no idea. Um, it was a sketch comedy show, and I had burned myself out because I was trying to. I was too much of a perfectionist. Too much. I was going way overboard trying to make things too perfect. And yeah, I burned myself out. And some of these videos that I see, I guess I can see why they are getting burned out because they're going way overboard um, just trying to make things too perfect. And maybe they should just kind of make, maybe take a, take a step back on certain things. I don't know. Okay, so the pull of the YouTube schedule. This is a very long article, by the way. Um, but anyway, uh, backlash to YouTubers and Twitch streamers who publicly take time away from the spotlight shows its face in almost any comment section about mental health and creators. Their fans are mostly supportive, telling their favorite creators to take time and work on their mental health. But most people who don't keep up with the day-to-day -day uploads or aren't as tuned in to YouTube culture have trouble sympathizing. Um, here are just a few comments. Uh, here, uh, someone said it's as if their fun hobby that turned into a career came with all the trappings of having a career. Of course, every job is challenging, but you're at home, no kids in front of some camera with this fake cheery persona. Your serious challenges involve a steady schedule and demonstrating your internet personality for the dollars. So they're saying their get-rich-quick scheme isn't as easy as they initially thought it would be? Uh, I don't know about get-rich-quick scheme. Um, it's not easy to try to get a whole lot of viewers on YouTube and make money. So this this is, I don't agree with this, but 
Um, yeah, oh, really hard to sympathize, boo-hoo. Uh, then there is, looks like PewDiePie here. He's like, I quit for now. And I, I'm not really um, a fan of PewDiePie or, or anything. Um, it I see stuff like this and it just seems like they're just trying to get attention um, just so they can get people's reactions. Uh, it's like, oh, no, 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 don't, don't quit. Please don't quit. It's, it's like they want to, they want to feel important. It's like, you guys aren't giving me enough love. I think I'm going to quit. No, no, man, don't, don't, don't leave us, don't leave us. Meanwhile, yeah, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. You know, and like I said, I mean, maybe they really are feeling that, maybe they aren't. It's just, when you get older, you kind of, you kind of look, you look at the stuff and it's like, yeah, you know what, I used to be that age and, uh, uh there's a lot more to life than YouTube. <laughs> Um, and there's a lot more uh, pressure in life uh, than just YouTube videos. So if you think that uh, trying to keep up with YouTubes is pressure, uh, just wait. Just wait. Um, this is one of those examples of personal things that don't need to be shared with the world. I have things in my own life that I could talk about uh, that I'm not going to but when it comes to people that are uh, getting overly pressured about oh, I just can't keep up with social media and uh, all the pressure of the YouTube videos wait until you have family issues or people that go into people that you love that go into a hospital or extremely bad financial issues or there's just just wait and until you've add like 30 more years to your life and then you'll you'll see that this whole making videos and YouTube thing is is really not as big of a deal as you guys are making it out to be um, so PewDiePie, he was uploading videos at least once a day, and he said the rigorous pace of YouTube video creation has led him to his own obsessions with the platform, and those obsessions turn into eventual dismay over producing and not enjoying the one thing that made him successful. Well, then take a step back and, um, I don't know, just... <laughs> It's, you know, the, the, the thing about the entertainment industry is that it's very competitive. It's a very highly competitive field. Hollywood, actors, um, actors, directors, movie producers, I mean, it's all a very competitive field. You have to be on the top of your game. Um, you have to have a network. Um, and you definitely have to be politically correct because you say the wrong thing and then, uh, then you're like, you're, no one wants to work with you. And you've got actors who have gone on interviews and saying that they've, they'll wake up at like four o'clock in the morning to, to, to get into a makeup chair for hours and they don't leave until 10 o'clock at night and they they do this for six out of seven days a week for several months at a time and then they go from that project to another project um, and they constantly have to and you know and then there's the stress of um, marketing and and interviews and all this stuff well you know what that 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 comes with the job that comes with the the type of career that you're doing 
there's not one career out there that's going to be uh, roses. Every every career is going to have its ups and its downs. Everywhere you go, the grass is going to be greener on the other side. Uh, for me, I'm just doing these videos just to do these videos. I'm not. I'm not. These particular videos, I'm not monetizing. Um, I don't really care. You know, maybe, maybe I'll make a career out of it later or something. I don't know. I have a job, so. Um, what What are the positives for me? Well, I can work. I have a flexible schedule. I can I can work. I get a paycheck. Um, I have benefits. Um, what are the downsides? No, well, I mean I like what I do, but. I enjoy making videos. Uh, that's what I had gone to school for. I didn't get a degree in it. I was getting close to it. And then I just kind of fell away from it because it was just getting a little too much. And with all the politics and backstabbing, that's I'm just I'm glad I didn't pursue it. Um, I decided to pursue a family life and I've been very um, I have no regrets. I'm very happy with with the choices that I made um, and maybe this is something that these youtubers that are stressing out maybe they need to think about um, and maybe they maybe they have a family I don't know um, but maybe maybe it's time that they do something for them do a little soul searching and do something for themselves and then maybe come back a little later and do a video but um, so uh, we won't play his video. Then there's something here on Katrina Gay, National Director of Strategic Partnerships at National Alliance of Mental Illness. No one tells you how many hours you should be working. You have to discover that for yourself. Maybe it's after the fact when you realize I've overdone it and I'm not as healthy as I should be. You have to pause the process of learning, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this is the position that Ruben El Rubius Gunderson found himself. Okay, that's what this guy, okay, that's the guy from the, from the top. That must be El Rubius. Um... He said he could feel the pressure building for years, but he never really took time off to address it. Recently, however, his panic attacks have become more frequent. He went and visited a doctor after learning how to cope with his ongoing mental health issues made worse by burnout. Knew he needed to stop. Hey, folks, this is nothing... This, is, this would be the same like at any job. Any job. If you overwork yourself, you're going to burn yourself out. It's not just YouTube. Any job. You, it, it, if you sit there and you work like two, three jobs, or you know whatever the you know, or you're working a lot of overtime, guess what? You're going to burn yourself out. Um, and if you continue to push yourself, yeah, you're you're going to have some mental, some mental issues. Um, the way they make the sound, though, these mental issues, it's like they're going. Rrr, rrr. No, I, I think, I think we're kind of like overdoing it here by saying they're mental issues. Um, I think stress is probably a better way to to word it. Um, but this is not just YouTube by itself. I mean, I almost get the impression that they think that this is, this is all just youtubers you know and like we should all feel um sympathetic to what they're going through well i don't see them as anyone more special than anyone else i don't see these youtubers as special than um anyone else that i've met they're 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 all people we're all people who we all we all stress out about different things we all have our tolerance level um, and we all make the choice on whether we're going to push ourselves or take a step back or change gears and do something else 
So if you're stressing out, you're, you're choosing to do that. Anyway, uh, follow from YouTube due to mental health concerns is a scary trend, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and, you know, I've noticed that with uh, some of these YouTubers, when they're uploading a video every day, it's almost as if they're really stretching to, to find some type of content to put, you know, to upload every day. It's like some of the Star Wars videos that I see uh, where they're like, ooh, new, exciting news. Like, how much exciting news could you possibly have in a week? Like, it's like you get exciting news on Monday, and then on Tuesday, oh, now we got exciting news about this. Re like, really? It, it, it's, it's like, does anyone, does anyone, anyone's life have like exciting news that happens every day I don't know I don't I, I just have like days that are just kind of like oh just like your usual day <laughs> I don't have like these <laughs> revelations every day or something like that so when I see these videos it's like ooh, this has happened or that's happened it's you know it, a lot of it seems like it's clickbait if you ask me but um yeah, I told you, this is a rambling video. I wonder how many people have uh, stayed with this video so far. I don't know. I'll keep rambling. Uh, anyway, so this is where the algorithm grade comes in. The algorithm grade is the best work in theory YouTubers work under when it comes to ensuring their videos are seen by as many people as possible. There are a bunch of little tricks that make up the algorithm grade. Videos should be longer than 10 minutes, for example, but one of the most important details is frequency. It is strongly believed that YouTube accounts with more than 10,000 subscribers should post daily because YouTube's algorithm fr favors frequency and engagement. So people upload and upload and upload and upload and build a bigger fan base, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't know. Is this really important? this 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 whole thing it would seem to me that you know it goes back to that old saying quality not quantity I mean that's always been something that's consistent if you focus on quality you, you do okay but when you when you push yourself on quantity your quality goes down um, so me personally, I do quality over quantity. And if your quality is good, then the people that like you will spread the word to their friends and their family. And then they will spread it. You know, it's that word of mouth thing. So to me, that's how you wind up getting more subscribers is by word of mouth. It's just like any other business. Um, back in the days when they used to have yellow pages, <laughs> I guess they still do. Um, just no one really uses it anymore. Um, people would spend a lot of money to advertise in the yellow pages. And I've heard, and this was the true, this was true for my mother. She had her own business. She got more business from word of mouth than she did from ads that she put into the yellow pages. So she would, she would uh, cancel those ads because they were just costing too much and they weren't worth it. Um, so it would seem to me like YouTube videos would be the same thing. Uh, you can sit there and stress yourself out with uh, social media and trying to get on every single social media the app there possibly is to try to get yourself out there. And yeah, marketing, marketing is important. Don't get me wrong. Marketing is important. Networking is important. Um, but it's all about word of mouth too. And once you can at least get the ball rolling, then let it roll. You don't it's rolling. You don't need to keep <laughs> pushing it. Let it roll. It's it's rolling. Just keep your quality going. It's like it's like your car. You know, um, it's moving. It's rolling. You don't need to push it faster. 
it, it's going, you know, maintain it. Maintain that card. Put some good gas in there. Let, let it keep going. Because you, if you start if you start focusing more on the quantity and not the quality, then that, that car is, is just going to go... It, it's going to stutter and sputter and it's going to it's going to have a mental breakdown like some of these uh, the YouTubers. So they're pushing themselves way too much. Just focus on the quality. And I think what's happening is, is some of these people are burning out is because they're focusing on both. They're focusing on quality and trying to push out as much quantity as they possibly can. And you have to find a nice balance between the two. Otherwise, you are you are going to totally burn yourself out. Trust me, I, I've been there. Not with YouTube, but um, back before YouTube and there was public access, I, I totally burned myself out. Maybe I'll get that material on my channel somewhere. I don't know. Um, anyway, relevancy is the word that keeps almost every YouTuber on the tip of their toes. There's the growing demonetization concerns. Now this here... Okay, this part here, this I can understand of, of it causing stress. This is definitely, um, you're putting a lot of work and YouTube is demonetizing your videos. So I totally understand that. That is frustrating. Um, posting infrequently means the creator's videos won't be recommended. Videos that aren't recommended aren't as heavily watched. See, I think they're they're depending too much on videos that are recommended. When me personally, um, it's not very often where I'll click on a video that's recommended. Usually, um, I find videos by accident, and then if I like it, then I'll you know I'll watch more of what that person um, has made. Or sometimes I'll read comments and I'll notice that someone makes a comment about someone else's video and I'll go check it out. That is how, that's how I manage to get around to different uh, YouTubers and watch what they're doing. I don't go based off of, oh, this video was recommended for you. Some of them just kind of like, eh, all right. You know, sometimes I'm just kind of scrolling through uh, some YouTube videos, maybe those are the recommended ones, um, and I just happen to see things. But um, other times, uh, I go on the YouTube because I'm searching for something specific, and because I'm searching for something specific, then I come across some people that, oh, you know, I like this guy or I like this girl. Um, I want to see more, and then through that, I wind up, you know, finding other similar. See, so. I don't know. I, I mean, I get it, but you're worrying too much about something that's beyond your control, really. Um, anyway, uh, it's really frustrating to be a creator on YouTube because we don't really know what's going on. I think YouTube is so scared of telling people what's going on for media outrage and for people abusing the system, so they don't generally keep us in the loop. Well, hey, I, yeah, it's frustrating when you don't know what's going on. Uh, I know about that. This video has great ads. Oh, okay, that's nice. Um, the issue is that, like, unlike many of us who have bosses or coworkers who tell us to take time off, no one is telling YouTubers to chill out. It's the opposite. People constantly ask for more, and there's only so much that one person can offer. Well, I mean, you can make the choice. You can continue to make videos and push yourself, or you can um, make a command decision <laughs> and say, I'm stopping and taking a break. So, oh, okay, so that's the end of the article there. But... Um, yeah, so here's the last part. The only way to beat burnout is to take breaks. Unfortunately for many YouTubers, those breaks are rarely planned. Um, and maybe that's what you should be doing. I know there are some uh, YouTubers out there. One YouTuber that I go and see a, a lot of is uh, Lazy Game Reviewer, LGR. 
and he posts normally posts a video up on Monday and Friday, I believe. So he keeps he keeps it pretty consistent. Um, and if he needs to take a break, I I I've never really seen him do a video where he just makes this a video a, a big deal of like, hey guys, I'm really stressed out. I need to take a break. You know, it's just usually he just makes a short little video it's kind of like hey i'm not feeling too good oh, guys i'm not feeling too good right now um so i'm not going to have any videos so and he's real he's real simple and down to earth on his videos which is why i really like his stuff um but i know that he's really stressed out by the whole demonetization thing so you know i totally get it um but um, that then there are there are others that put a lot way more you know production quality into what they're doing and uh, and they're trying to do videos like my goodness I, I don't know how I get you know they're young I guess they have all the energy to do this but I don't know how in the world they can sit there and put videos up every day or more than once a day with live streams and then going on the Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and uh, <laughs> what was that uh, Google Google Plus uh, all these things uh, to, to, to try to keep up I mean yeah no wonder you're getting stressed out you're, you're you're letting it consume you just you know if you've got a following trust in your trust in your viewers um your fans your viewers if they like your videos they're going to share it with other people your the word of mouth is the most important thing this this is my opinion um, of course, you know, I'm much older, a lot more seasoned, I guess, <laughs> uh, a bit more laid back. So, um, yeah, like I said, I get it. I, I was that age once too, but you'll get older and I think you'll, you'll realize that you 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 push yourselves way too hard um which which led which led to these uh burnouts if if there's something that you know, sometimes too much of a good thing is a bad thing and i'm sure you've heard that before um and that's like that like i like playing games um and sometimes uh like minecraft is one of my favorite ones um, if I play it way too much, I'll get burned out with it. So sometimes you need to kind of pace yourself a little bit. Uh, maybe s step back, maybe try a different game, maybe make some different types of videos. Um, I have several different videos that I recorded, but I haven't even put together and edited because I actually did get kind of burned out a little bit. <laughs> Um, but I'm actually going to be hopefully getting those together and, and putting them up. Uh, they're, they're, they're gaming videos. Uh, you know, maybe you need to change gears a little bit. Um, uh, you know, there, there's just, there's just a lot, but anyway, uh, we've been rambling on for who knows. I have no idea how long this video has been going on, probably five hours and, uh, who knows if anyone's still watching, but if you are, hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, I'm interested in what you guys think. What do you think about this whole thing about YouTubers who are getting burned out and telling the whole world about their about their mental issues and their breakdowns and woe is me and uh, tiny little 
you know, little fiddle thing. What do you think about all that stuff? I mean, are, are you sympathetic to them? Um, or are you kind of like, yeah, dude, I get burned out at my job. Nobody plays the tiny little fiddle for me. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about this? Maybe I'm completely off my rocker. I'm an old guy. My chair rocks. Yeah, yeah, it rocks. <laughs> Maybe I'm off my rocker. Who knows? Maybe I'm just a crazy old guy. I think I'm a crazy old guy anyway, but hey, that's beside the point. Anyway, I'm done with the rambling. Um, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Click like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, um, I'm going to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to make a long 30 minute video with a whole huge bunch of production quality and special effects to, sh to tell you why I'm, I'm so stressed out at my age and everything in my life that led me to this point. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you want to get notification of... Uh, any new videos i appreciate it appreciate you guys checking it out and i will see you on the next ramble video see ya